Hi, right, welcome back to Chuck's Tuesday Tips, sporadic as it may be. Once again, we had a debacle. We lost the battery charger for the camera. Or I guess I lost it, but I'll never cop to it. I still think the meathead threw it out, but hey, what are you going to do? Anyhow, here we still are on foxes, but we switched from the little foxes to the big foxes and the reason I'm going over this still once again is I've had a lot of emails and written requests to still keep going over the small life size with the alcohol and turpentine tan and to keep reviewing that. Now this fox is a full size fox um, bigger cousin to the kit fox there as you can see completely tan from that alcohol turpentine tan and again I'll have to review and say you don't just put it in the tan and take it out and mount it you gotta put it in the tan a couple days take it out and flush it it'll usually peel off if not you run it on your bird flesher put it back in for a day or two check it again and then when you take it out you're still not done you gotta shampoo it it's really important and then to shampoo it and then to tumble it because then it really is tan. It looks just like a commercial tan. Okay, now you can tan anything that's thin skin like bobcat, even a raccoon, anything coyote size you can do. It's really not the size, it's about the thickness of the skin. And then of course if you have grease issues with some some animals. So I found this old mannequin and since this is for a friend of mine he gets what he gets. The reason I'm doing this mannequin is I saw this on a, another video of some, somebody mounting a fox on this video, uh, mannequin and they took the skin on and off and on and off and on and off and on and off and did this and that and uh, I, I didn't understand why they did that. I know from experience that this fox is going to fit. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a risk and try and put this on just once and mount this thing and not take it off again. So I'm going to put a little magic blue that we make here. Now when you have an animal that has one leg out back, you usually got to start with that leg I find to get this on. Yeah, uh, good morning America. I'm living a good dream, but I never dreamt this before. My whole life be feeling like it's a movie, so when I wake up in the morning, I continue to do me. Yeah, good morning America. I'm living a good dream, but I never dreamt this before. My whole life be feeling like it's a movie, so when I wake up in the morning, I continue to do me. Respect yeah. all the other candidates in this race, but if you're looking for a leader, here he is in your face. I treat my land like a story that could not have been told without the effort that was put to accomplish our goals. And with my vision, we can't even have a castle. Okay, so that's through. And there we go. Now, I'm going to take this uh, off one more time and put a bunch of glue in here. Not the bot, not this off, but I'm just going to put the head down so I can put some glue. And then I'm going to sew it up. Then I'll come in and do the face. Pose the toes, put it on the base. And bingo, bango, bongo, we're done. Okay, we're ready to sew. So, what I'm going to do now, this this mannequin, I got to mention one more thing. This one's pretty straightforward. It's only got this turn up here. But if you had a a really bent one or hard body turn, it's important to, to keep your alignment in check for your your lateral or dorsal strike laterals the other way and then sometimes the way I do that is I'll take and I'll start from both ends what I mean by that is I'll take a, one thread and I'll start the back end and then I'll come back in with another needle and thread and start from this end and go to the middle I don't know where my cradle is I have a cradle that I use to set these things and then you start Don't you limit me in the office control In a way I'm having all these students paying for school Be free along with our 40 acres and mules Yeah, uh, consider good morning America For the face We'll roll it back is what I'm talking about And then we'll be able to Set our eyes and everything I'm mean, using these antique fox eyes They're about I don't know, 60 years old that a lady gave me in here. 
we can set all our eyes, do everything. We can get a little clay in here. We don't need a lot of clay because again, these earbuds, I mean these ears, have it the correct shape. We just need a little smoothing clay. So that'll be the last step I do. I'll have this one done on our next tip to show you the finished product. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you as soon as we can get the next tip up. Bingo, bango, bongo, we're done.